Hey, hello everybody, uh, Eddie Lane here again. Going on a flight in Luis Magana's Cessna 172, which is a plane from Fly Right Aviation based in North Las Vegas. He's kind enough to let us use it for these training videos. The purpose of today's flight is to do a review of crosswind landings. I don't know about you folks, but when I was a private learner of mine, I, I never felt I got enough uh, training on it. I didn't felt I was good enough at them, and it's just that you're at the uh, the mercy of the winds. If the winds aren't there, you don't get any practice on them. Look like it's about 30 degrees, 40 degrees off the runway. A lot of people learn crosswinds and they uh, they don't get enough practice at it, and they wind up getting a certificate, and it's not really a fault of anybody. As an examiner, you know, if it's not a windy day, I just verbally test them on a crosswind technique. But sometimes, uh, unfortunately, People have their license, they learn in airports that don't get wind, and then they fly to airports that have a lot of wind. It can get pretty pretty dicey sometimes. I'm based in Bullhead City, where it's windy all the time, and there are a lot of places, as a lot of you know, that in Southern California, if it's over 10 knots, the planes don't fly. Then someone finishes training, he gets in his plane, he flies to a place like Bullhead City, Lofton, Nevada, where it's very windy. It's it's beyond their capability. The guys in the tower there and people based at the airport call them Friday afternoon go around. You have a preponderance of go arounds in Bullhead City on Friday afternoons because the people coming there aren't used to that velocity of wind. You should all be familiar with the crosswind maximum crosswind component of your, your airplane and uh, what that is is it's the maximum demonstrated. That means the plane was certified as what was demonstrated maximum crosswind component. It's, it's not necessarily what the airplane can handle. You, you know, when you did your written test, there's the crosswind component chart, you figure out the wind and velocity the angle off the runway and what that crosswind component would be. Usually, in a, like a 152, it's about 15, 15 knots direct crosswind. Okay, we're coming up at the end of the runway here. And, uh, I'll do a run up and I'll talk to you guys later.